Hot on the heels of the 3 Series and 4 Series comes the next generation M3 and M4. Now if you have any gasoline in your veins, the wait has been intense to say the least. Well, the wait is finally over. Since the M3 arrived 35 years ago, there have been many memorable rides. And while the M4 is the younger sibling, it carries the flag in exactly the same way. The key is an M car demands three very important things. A bold look, a healthy dose of power, and the ability to tackle a decreasing radius corner without inducing a pucker factor. The 2021 M3 and M4 tick the first two boxes right out of the gate. The last, well, that's going to have to wait for that all-important first drive. The work starts with a 3.0-litre twin-turbo inline-six. In base form, it delivers 473 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. It drives the rear wheels to a six-speed manual gearbox. Step up to the competition, and the output rises to a heady 503 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque, which is 59 horse and 73 pound-feet more of torque than the outgoing model. This powerhouse works with an eight-speed automatic transmission. Talk M cars, and there really is only one question, how fast? Well, the competition models will get you to 100K in 3.9 seconds, and it does the 80 to 120 passing move in 2.6. Keep the hammer nailed, and the endorphins begin to rush. It promises to be a ride to remember. The competition models arrive with rear drive, but will be offered with X-Drive or wheel drive. In normal driving situations, the system sends the power to the rear wheels. However, when the traction limit is nearing, it begins to direct some of the power forward. This delivers better traction without forsaking that all-important rear drive feel. The driver can tailor how X-Drive works. Sport mode sends more power rearward for more of the time, giving it an aggressive driving feel. For the Brave, switching off the stability control system sees the system become a full-on rear drive car. Now you have a drift mobile. The M3 and M4's wheelbase is up 45 millimeters. This, the wider track and the carbon fiber reinforced roof panel delivers a lower center of gravity and a 50-50 front to rear weight distribution. This gives the adaptive M suspension the foundation needed to weave its magic. As the driver works through the Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus settings, the damping progressively tightens, which reduces body roll and imparts a keener feel. Having made the new M models fast and furious in a straight line and through a series of switchbacks, now it comes time to break. In this instant, the six piston calipers work with an M-specific version of BMW's integrated braking system. The comfort and sport modes allow the driver to change the brake response and pedal feel. It's bigger, it's bolder, and it's certainly better. Now, the information only serves to whet the appetite. When the real car lands, the first drive promises to be a surreal experience. I'm Graham Fletcher for Driving.ca, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram.